Welcome to video 57 in series 3, and in this video I'm going to write the script that will allow you to throw objects. I'll make a new folder here, and I'll call it item scripts. And inside of that I'll make a new C sharp script, and I'll call it item throw, and open it up. And I'll start with the variables, so private, item master, item master, private transform, my transform, private rigid body, my rigid body, and private vector three, throw direction. Then a couple of public variables as well. Public bool can be thrown. Public string throw button name. Public float throw force. Okay, I won't need the on enable on disable methods. I'll need three new methods. Void check for throw input. Void carry out throw actions. And void hurl item. Inside of set initial references, well, I'll set that up. So item master is get component. Item master. My transform is transform. My rigid body is get component rigid body. And in start, I'll set the initial references. And in update, I will be checking for throw input. So check for throw input. Okay. So I'll start with the simplest method, the hurl item method. My rigid body dot add force. Throw direction times throw force. And the force mode is impulse. Okay. And that's it. Okay, so that was hurl item, nice and simple. Now I'll do check for throw input. So I'll first check that if throw button name not equal to null, then I have another set of conditions that I need to satisfy as well. Uh, if input dot get button down, that button is by the throw button name and uh, I guess the game shouldn't be paused, so time dot time scale is greater than zero. And also the item can be thrown in the first place, so and can be thrown, and I need to check that this item is actually on the player, so under the first person character. Well, if it's under the first person character, it means that the root transform will be the player. So I need to check that my transform uh, dot root dot compare tag and that tag is from the references game manager references there it is dot player tag okay so if all of those are satisfied then I will carry out the throw actions method Okay, so here I need to set the direction and actually call the event for throwing the object. So throw direction is equal to uh, my transform dot parent dot forward. Pretty sure that's what it is. Yeah, because it's the item and the parent of the item is the first person character. And the first person character is of course what the player is looking through. That's where the camera is attached. So yes, that's the forward direction that we need for throwing something. 
Okay, and uh, so the the thing, the the item is underneath the first person character, right? So I need to then say my transform parent is equal to null now. So that will throw it out into the hierarchy open. It's got no more parent now. It's just separated from the player. That's exactly what we want. We don't want it being underneath the player and throwing it and stuff. That's because then it'll move when the player turns. Uh, okay, and then uh, just two more items to that. So now we need to call the event. So item master dot call event object throw, and this won't do anything at the moment. Once we have lots of other scripts subscribing to this event, then there'll be other behaviors that we'll have implemented. Like you know, uh, for example, the item's rigid body. When the player is carrying it, the rigid body is kinematic. But when the player throws it, then the rigid body is no longer uh, is kinematic. So then it can you know be affected by gravity and interact. Uh, well, like a physics object. So that's just a, an example of all the things that we'll be doing. So we'll have many scripts coming, subscribing to that uh, object throw event. Okay, and then after that, we need to hurl the item. So now the object will actually get thrown. The hurl item script uh, method will be called, and the uh, item will get thrown. Okay, so I think that's pretty much it. Looks like it'll work uh, straight away, assuming no errors. Looks like no errors, which is always good. Uh, okay, so uh, I can test it out. In fact, I will uh, attach it here. I'll say can be thrown. Uh, I need a throw button name. What should I call it? I mean, I, for testing purposes, I can use fire two, for example. Uh, but I haven't, I haven't thought well about this. Maybe um, throw, throw, maybe. Yeah, yeah, that's that'll do. Yeah, that'll do. And I'll go to edit. Project settings input, and I'll increase that to say 21, and let me just shrink that down. And instead of pick up item, I'll paste that in there. Throw and the positive button. I'm going to make it F. You can change that. You can make it something else, but I want F as my throw key. Okay, uh, so with that done, that should work nicely. Then, so let me go back to the item. And, oh yeah, there's something else. You remember I was saying in the script, uh, compare tag. So the root of the item, which is the player, must have the tag up with the, the player tag. And that player tag is simply player, uh, which is what was defined in the game manager references script. If you go back and have a look at that. So game manager references, player tag is player. So I need to give the player that tag. It's currently untagged. So far we've been fine. But now we need that tag assigned so that the item knows that it's actually on the player. Okay, and of course now a throw force. I need a rigid body as well. So let me put that in uh, and make its mass, for example, 100. Uh, maybe I can make the throw force like 500. Maybe that's too low, um, but okay. And I can copy these, so copy component, come here, and, uh, oops, oh, there it was, paste component is new, okay, it's coming exactly that, copy the rigid body, so there we go, copy component, paste it in as new, all right, okay, so let me try that, see what happens, okay, yep. So of course the rigid body is uh, acting right now. We'll take care of that later with other scripts, item scripts that will make it is kinematic. So it doesn't do exactly that, which is falling down onto the ground. But let me press F. All right. So there it is. The object got thrown. And if you look in the hierarchy, it is now a separate item. Let me increase the, the throw force. That wasn't, that wasn't dramatic enough. So let me make it like a thousand. That one too. All right, jump back in, press F, better. And that's item one. Now if I throw that, okay. And of course, well, it's not clearing or anything because we've still got a lot more work to do uh, to make stuff work. Okay, so, okay, at least we know that we can throw items. Uh, we can't pick them up. Or anything yet and the inventory is not clearing which of course is not right uh, but that's fine for now at least we've got our item throw script working all right so thanks for watching and keep going onwards we've got lots and lots more to do